He's hidden inside my closet, surrounds me. He's even inside my faucet, he tells me to remain silent. He's my bad dream. He's the one who watches me sleep a nightmare. Hidden welcome, welcome to the Great Traveling Metal Show. Uh, I'm your host, Mistress Jessica. I will be taking you through um, the latest metal news, uh, videos, tours, albums, that kind of stuff. Um, just to uh, update you on some kick-ass stuff that's going on out there, um, be sure to follow me on Instagram at xxlacemeupxx, um, and be sure to follow Tennessee Horror News on Instagram and Facebook as well. Um, so let's just jump right into it here. Got my coffee, got my notes. Pretty excited about this. All right, I want to start by uh, introducing you to my little co-host here. His name is Lil Louie, I named him after Lucifer. He's uh, chilling in there, he's a little good. So Louie will be staying with us throughout the broadcast. Hope you enjoy his company. He makes pretty awesome jokes as well. So, uh, let's see, what do we have on agenda here first? Let me put you on this one. So, I have never really done a broadcast before, so I will try to be as new as a official as I can be. So, let's start with new albums for 2018. Um, there's a couple bands that are actually touring now that just released albums that I'm like completely addicted to. So, um, we'll go through upcoming albums, we'll hit on touring. And uh, we'll go and see some other little categories that I think would be fun for you guys. So hang in there and stay with me for a sec. First, let's talk about upcoming albums for 2018. Uh, starting with Arcland Trio, who is currently playing. Um, they just have their new album, uh, Is This Thing First, coming out. Um, fucking awesome year. I'm always a very huge fan of those. Um, coming up next month in September, we have Clutch with Book of Bad Decisions. Uh, Nashville Pussy will have Please to Eat You, Pig Destroyer will have Head Tapes, uh, and Thrice will have Palms coming out, all of which are really awesome bands. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing your videos and like being that guy on YouTube that keeps stalking all your videos. Um, and then in October, one of my most anticipated bands, Behemoth, is dropping I Love You at Your Darkest, um, and they're just always super fucking badass and epic. Just um, really just go watch them. I saw them at Death Fest a couple years ago with Despised Icon and they just killed it. So I would highly recommend checking them out. Um, uh, also in October, Ice Nine Kills has Silver Screen. Um, Kobe and Camry has The Unheavenly Creatures. And Sunflower Dead has Kuma coming out on October 19th. Um, all of which should be fucking sick knowing them. Um, so I will keep you up to date as soon as I hear more about those. Alcatraz Festival was this week, uh, with such fans as Halloween, Pumpkins United, In Flames, Behemoth, Ale Storm, uh, Inglorious, Ministry, Cannibal Chorus, Black Dolly, and more. Um, totally jealous I couldn't be there. It sounded awesome. So if you have any comments or questions, pictures, whatever, um, I would love to hear more about how it went. So please contact me, um, whether it's through here or Instagram or wherever. Um, but yeah, I would love to see what went on and, and your thoughts on everything. So definitely touch base with me. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more about that here soon. Um, Warp Tour, we say goodbye to them this year. But from what I understand, Warp Tour is already planning a reunion tour um, with uh, at Riot Fest in 2020. So uh, two short years from now, we will be seeing Warp Tour again. And it's actually seems to be joining forces with Riot Fest, which is a fucking awesome show. If you've never gone, you should definitely go. Um, so yeah, I, I look forward to hearing more about that and definitely haven't seen the last of War Tour yet. <laughs> Currently, we have some really awesome tours and stuff happening. Um, just want to touch base and give like, a shout out to everybody that's worked really hard and put all this together. Um, starting with Wacken Festival. Um, I actually have some friends that are over there now performing. Um, some really cool bands uh, like Parkway Drive, Meshuggah, Airborne, Dark Funeral, Avatar. Um, just 
all really awesome people. Um, I was lucky enough to get to hang out uh, with some people that I know and the band Avatar um, for a couple shows here recently. Really, really nice dudes. Can't believe how awesome they are. Super, super great. Like, just crazy headbanging, like, awesome live show. Um, it's just really down to earth. So, like, I definitely, if you haven't heard of them yet, they are currently, like, on the local radio stations and stuff, which is cool. Um, but they're definitely making a big cup of it. Come up in. So, um, if you're a big fan of metal and, like, just fun metal, check out Avatar. Um, specifically, they have a song um, called Smells Like a Freak Show by Avatar. It's really awesome. Really cool guys. Really cool video. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, another thing I wanted to touch on, there's a... Uh, one of my favorite bands from like growing up, uh, just funny, awesome guys. Um, the number one comedy album this week on Billboard charts is Do by Psycho Stick. If you don't know who Psycho Stick is, go on YouTube, Google, whatever, and, and find their awesome songs. They have songs about tacos and girl directions and beer, just everything you want. So go out there and check them out because it's totally worth it and I promise you won't regret it. Hey everyone, just wanted to let you know that if you liked my intro music, it is by a fabulous young woman. Uh, she's 17 years old. Her name is Dakota Kenny. She's from Tennessee. Um, and I was lucky enough to do an interview with this fantastic, very talented young woman. Um, so Dakota says that she started writing in the seventh grade. Um, she plays drums, guitar, piano, and percussion instruments, uh, produces and records her own music, does all the cinematography and everything for her videos. Um, on a personal note, when she was born, she actually had TGA, which would be a transposition of the great arteries, um, and at the time was the first baby to actually successfully go um, surgery and survive. So that is an amazing feat, and from a sideshow freak slash music entrepreneur, um, the coolest thing ever. So you're a medical marvel, babe, and yeah, we're happy to have you here, so thank God that all worked out. Um, she grew up with a metal and oh, well, a music background, um, plays a major role in her life, she says. Um, to this day, uh, her father and everybody, I think, um, does with her, is also music related from what I understand. Um, she even does special effects makeup, which is totally rad if you're a horror fan and you appreciate horror movies and makeup and all that stuff. Um, she actually has a new album coming out this week, so you guys, I will drop uh, links and all that stuff uh, below. So if you want to check out more from Dakota, please give her a follow and just tell her how awesome she is. She's a really cool, very talented, super smart young woman. Um, and she actually will be at the Delta Fair and Music Fest in Tennessee in September um, performing. So uh, I think the dates for that are August 31st through September 9th. So if you're in the area, be sure to drop by listen to her and just tell her how rad she is and how you found out about her. So um, definitely looking looking forward to more from her um, here in the future. She's just awesome. So thank you so, so much mwah, for letting us use your music through my show. So I really appreciate everything that you do and I will be talking to you real soon, babe. Hey, welcome back to Jessica's Metal as Fuck show. Uh, I like to say fuck, so hopefully no one's offended, but that's what is metal up for the date. Um, anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you guys on upcoming tours, um, some music stuff that's happening now. Um, Alkaline Trio is currently touring. Uh, Amigo the Devil and Harley Poe in late 2018 will be touring. Um, Upon a Verdi Body and Nectar Uh just announced their Bill and Shred's excellent tour venture through September. Um, Black Dahlia Murder announced a late 2018 headlining U.S. run in support of the latest album, uh, 10 bands to appear, including Ghost, Skeletal Remains, Pig Destroyer, Power Trip, Chemist, Ghoul, Midnight, Havoc, and Devourment. Uh, and it runs November through December of 2018, so be on the lookout for that. Um, stay tuned for my next episode. Um, we're going to touch on Babes of Metal, um, Metalist Fuck Things That We've Been Friends, uh, my favorite tour moments. Uh, people I've met, etc., etc. So lots to come. Um, and then shortly after that, Halloween extravaganza, Mothman Festival, all this fun stuff. So stay tuned. Love you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. And I will try to keep updated on like the latest, most weird fucking shit you guys want to know. Um, again, if you have any comments, questions, want to see something, 
fucking drop me a line. Um, again, my Instagram is xxlacyup, xx, um, and you can feel free to contact me about anything, anything metal related, horror related, creepy related, sideshow related, whatever the hell you want. Um, I'm here for your, your pleasure. So, uh, if you have any questions, comments, I look forward to hearing from you and stay tuned for our next episode. He's hidden inside my closet, surrounds me. He's even inside my faucet, he tells me to remain silent. He's my bad dream. He's the one who watches me sleep, but nightmare.